Hello, everyone. <laughs> Many of you all may think you want to get married, but I think many people don't know what it really means to be married. Already, I think life is a test. A test based upon what is written in the Bible. When you get married, I believe you are <laughs> taken to like a, still a test, but maybe more so of an advanced test of sorts. As in, I would say self-sacrifice. I think some people may want to get married because of sex or because they believe being married will make them happy. I think some people want to get married maybe because they don't want to be alone or some type of stuff like that. But when you get married or if you think you want to be married i don't think you know what you are signing up for although i encourage everyone to get married but i think you must be prepared there are certain rules that a married couple must go by you must go by what the bible says so if you are looking for much freedom, it is probably best for you to not get married. It is probably best for you to stay single. If you are looking for straight freedom, not really have to worry about someone else, in a sense, which we do still have to be concerned about other people but i believe marriage is <laughs> something else so if you think you want i think some people may watch romance films you know like i don't know too many romance films I think I heard something about Dear John, but I don't know what that is about. Maybe you have watched like uh, Pocahontas or um, some stuff to where it made it seem like marriage is like a drama to where you want to relive what you see you know, you want the man to carry you on, on his back. You want the woman to do this and do that. You know, you may, I guess more so for women, you may see marriage as like a happy ending. I don't think you really know what you are getting yourself into. In marriage, you can't be selfish. You can't think about your own wants, needs, and likes. You have to be concerned about your spouse. You have to... <laughs> it is really, really something. I think marriage, if you do it the right way, I believe marriage teaches you How to serve. Yes, I would say that. I believe marriage teaches you how to serve. And if you were a server of people already, which I kind of was already, I think it teaches you more of how to serve 
and teaches you, I would say, meekness, humility. I think it teaches you so much. So I believe marriage is another course of life where you will be tested. I would say that because I tell you, now you may ask me, is it worth it? It really depends. Like, what do you really seek in life? What do you really look for in life? Do you look for, but I would say it is worth it. If you know how to keep your mind on Jesus Christ, if you know how to put him first in your life, if you know how to pretty much <laughs> stick with Jesus Christ no matter what, yeah, then you probably should get married. But if your relationship with Jesus Christ is not so good, maybe you should wait or maybe being married will teach you how to depend on jesus christ perhaps but i would say marriage is another test you may expect every day to be happy you may expect every day to be joyful you may think that you know, uh, you may have this image in your mind where you will wake up and you will kiss your spouse and make some pancakes and, and some eggs and you both will laugh and smile and take trips to the grocery store and, and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> like sunshine every day you may think that inside of your mind and it may be that way some days i guess but in many days i think it is going to be challenging i think one your spouse may not be on the same level as you in christ uh you and your spouse may not have the same maturity level uh, difference in opinion, difference maybe in culture, difference on the way you all grew up, difference in seeing a situation. Um, I think probably so many differences. So I think you have to deal with so much of that or some things of that. And I think that can be very, very challenging. But I believe the key thing is learn how to depend on Jesus Christ. Learn to go to Jesus Christ when there is a problem. Your words may not always work when there is an argument or or should I say, a difference in opinion. Your words may go unheard or your words may be misinterpreted. So if your spouse is not willing to reason or can't reason or demons are causing confusion or whatever else like that, what can you do? Fight? No. You need to learn how to go to Jesus Christ about what is going on. Yes, and let me say this too, and I think this is very true. If you are, let me see, if you have a fiance, and let's say that uh, you and your fiance never had a disagreement, never had an argument, never had things to go wrong. 
I think you should really, really wait <laughs> to get married to see how things will be when things turn bad. I think you can gauge if you should marry a person on how you all deal with your issues. Does that make any sense? Don't just marry a person because everything is good. All times are good. No, 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 no. Gauge it by when there, when there is an issue, how do you react and how do your fiance reacts? Does that make any sense? Not saying that everything is going to go down perfectly. But if you see like an over exaggerated reaction when problems come, then you all should probably wait and work on that. If you tell me that there has been no problem between you and your fiance and everything is great, no problems, we are both happy, we are both smiling, sunny days every day, I don't trust that. Meaning, I would not trust a relationship that hasn't gone through any problems. No way, no way, no way, because I know I believe any usual relationship is going to have problems. Having problems is not the point, but how you deal with the problems, how you react to the problems. So gauge if you should be with a person based upon how you all deal with the problems. And if things don't seem too great, wait and try to work things out but don't hurry up and rush into marriage i know i think in the bible the apostle paul said if you can't wait to have sex you should get married and he is the apostle paul and what can i say against him but what i can say <laughs> wait until not saying Paul is wrong, but I would wait until problems happen because you can't really, can you really know, can you really know a person until bad things happen? Like for instance, I think many of us can live for Jesus Christ when times are good, right? But how do we really know where we are at in Christ until problems happen? Then we may see, hey, I am lacking in faith. I am lacking in patience. I am lacking in self-control. I am lacking in this. I am lacking in that. I believe through problems, you can really see where you really are. And I think with your fiance you can really tell how they really are when bad things come not i am not telling you to purposely make bad things to come to gauge how they are never do that never test a person like that i think that is evil never purposely do bad things to see how your fiance or whatever is going to react that is so bad that is very bad. I don't recommend doing that. I think you are provoking a person to wrath and I think that is sinful. Oh. Now, with me, you know, I can, you know, I make jokes and stuff like that, you know, but I tell the person that I'm joking and stuff like that. But I think some people act like they are serious and make a problem and really irritate a person to see how they act and if they overdo it, the person who provoked the other may seem very shocked and as if they are innocent and all that mess there. No. No, 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 no. So I hope you have learned something from this. May God bless you.